We are live. Welcome to Willow Season 1, Episode 6, Thoughts. This episode is called Prisoners of Skellen. So, spoilers for everything Willow, up to and including this episode. And let's dive in. Amazing establishing shot. To opening the episode. They're establishing the hell out of these. Yeah, this place. And, yeah, so Kit and Willow are put in a cage, and, yeah, Christian Slater's there playing Alagast and posing as Mad Mardigan so that they would take him and stop looking for the real Mad Mardigan. I really... I think his name is Saris. I thought Saris was absolutely hysterically funny. Just, you know, so basically, yeah, the, at first, you know, the trolls seem really, really, you know, unpleasant and such. And then one of them starts speaking and is just as basically polite. And he sounds just like a guy. Like, you, you know, if you heard... If you only heard the voice and didn't see that he looks like a troll, you wouldn't guess he was a troll, you know, and just, yeah, ev every single joke that they did with him landed for me. I just absolutely, you know, the, the, <laughs> I think probably my favorite, I'm, I'm not going to go over all of them, I promise, but my favorite was when he, like, he's, he says something along the lines of, and we know what, you know, yeah, yeah, the other guy says, we know what that, yeah, you know what that means, and Sarah says, I do, and then the other guy spells it out, and then Sarah is, is like, when I said I do, what I meant was, please explain it to me like I'm, I'm like I'm an in, imbecile, just, yeah, absolutely loved those jokes. And, you know, we do see he is, you know, he is evil. He is, um, he apparently hates Nelwyn, you know, the, the Willow, the Will, Willowverse version of Dwarf. So, yeah, bad guy. And, let's see... I really like, you know, Graydon and Elora, like, you know, Graydon really wants to clear things up. And so he's like, you know, okay, so I just, I kind of want to, want to deal with this, want to hash this out, you know. And I think she's the one, yeah, she's like, do you really think this is the time and place for this? And he's like, okay, would I like for us to not have this conversation surrounded by trolls, yes, but, you know, when is, who knows when that will be possible, and they strip, they have this conversation while the others are fighting in the background, that was really funny, I, it's such an old gag, but it just works, in my opinion, the, the, you know, they, they did it right, let's see, and, yeah, you know, Alagas says that, Borman betrayed him and Met Mardigan. I really appreciate that the slave labor in the mines is clearly, like, you know, you, you watch the way that it's handled in this show, and it is clearly evil, so sending that message to the next generation, you know, you know, in real life, slavery is obviously evil, but there's a lot of movies and TV shows where they kind of romanticize it, and it's like, why are you sending this message to the children exactly? It's just, yeah. Uh, like, when you were when you were a kid, if you watched the Disney Snow White, did you think that it looked like the the Seven Dwarves were just miserable, and it was a terrible job, and nobody should have to work in a mine? Or were you like, oh, what a fun song, they all have personalities, I like that. So, you know, yeah. So I appreciate, you know, Disney here. And it's not like they don't treat a lot of their employees pretty badly, so, yeah. 
you know, it, I, I would love if they were to preach, to, to practice what they preached, but if they can't do that, at least preach something good. Let's see. And, yeah, you know, Kit frees Allagash the way that Mad Mardigan was freed from a cage in the film. I really like that, you know, for some reason, you know, he says, well, in retrospect, I guess I should have not, you know. But, yeah, he just, he almost dies there. He almost falls down this, you know, just because he couldn't wait a couple of seconds more for Kit to be completely ready. I liked them putting on disguises and, you know, there's there's that bit about, ah, let's see. It was, uh, yeah, you know, they, they point out to Borman, you can't pass for a troll, you're, you're, you're way too tall. I'll make up for it with my performance. By the way, your performances suck. And, and, you know, one of the, one of the troll, you know, they, they come and, and talk to, to Graydon, and it's like, okay, so, we're gonna need someone to something something. No? Thank you, though. <laughs> that was, yeah, that was very, very funny, and, you know, the, Elora drops the wand, thankfully does get it back at the end of the episode. I really like the thing with, like, you know, Willow is gonna kill me when he finds out. Yeah, he really is gonna kill Don't say it like that. Maybe don't make it the first thing you tell him. You know, don't, don't tell him right away. And then when Willow comes back, he's like, where's the wand? I dropped it. And... Allagast, you know, relates some of the story about Mad Mardigan to Kit, and yeah, and I like that Borman still just wants the the looks, and the I, I like when when. Borman and Allagash are reunited for the first time in 10 years. Or had it been more than 10 years? Allagash has been there for 10 years, but Borman... Yeah, I, I forget. But anyway, you know, they immediately start fighting and, like, no one cares. That was really funny. Um, and Kit and Jade continue to be really sweet together. I quite liked the the wiggle something or other tomb riddles, which is also you know you gotta have a yeah. Not every single fantasy story needs to have riddles like that, but but it's a good it's good to have that in there, and I really like like apparently it's like this automated like it's like a um. It's like if you're calling customer service and you just get a robot, you know, it's a recording. You know, so the, the you know, the first riddle they guess and, you know, give the answer and it moves on. And then after it's made the second riddle, you know, they, they don't really know what to say. And then it starts saying something along the lines of, ah, oh, maybe you just need more time. Maybe I need to repeat the riddle and just... And they get so fed up with this automated voice saying, you know, because it's, it's the equivalent of, you know, if you don't press one of the buttons on the keyboard, the message will repeat. And you're not going to get any further. It's just, yeah, I, I really, that's a, that's a choice and I'm here for it. Uh, let's see. And it was, I mean, those were two pretty good riddles. And I, I also like this thing of, you know, in in my time, I found that the best, uh, the, the, um, the greatest treasure is friendship. And I think it's, it's maybe Allagash was like, that's really nice. You know, how, how uh, yeah. Also, yeah, I also like when, you know, when they're like insulting each other and they use these ridiculous words and Willow is like, language. And Allagash confirms for Kit what she already felt, that Matt Mardigan, 
you know, believed Elordan was more important than Kit. I gotta admit, um, maybe it's just me. Did anybody else, like, from just watching get that that wasn't lava? Like, once Kit falls through, it looks like it's basically ice. And I'm, I'm fine with ice being the color of lava in the Willowverse. That's perfectly fine. I just didn't feel like the show really established that until Kit was already under... And it's just like, you know, we're, it's supposed to be this big moment. It's this, you know, the, the episode ends without resolving. You know, big cliffhanger. Is she going to make it? And I just feel like it would have been good... Maybe I missed something. If if it established, no, that's not lava. Because at first I was like, why are they step? Don't step on the lava. You know, I, I don't know what exactly they should do, but don't step on lava. Don't get so close to lava. And I guess it's just not... Oh, right, it's the... Yeah, it's the... it's the. Did, did they just say it's, it's evil? The, it's the thing they're making in the... Okay, right, right, so... Yeah, but earlier it was like bubbling and it was supposed to look threatening and then they're like, come on, Elora, stop doing it, you know, stop making that thing happen. Or was that just because of the 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 shock waves, I guess? But how how are they so confident that it's thick enough that they can step on it if it's usually liquid? Yeah, anyway, um... And the, but, but yeah, you know, Kit confronts Elora about, you know, whether or not she can control the magic. Oh, did I, whoops, I completely messed up. Yeah, I guess I'll just, yeah, I messed up the order of two of my notes. Anyway, yeah, two of my papers of notes. But yeah, Kit, you know, goes under and the others can't get her out at least as far as we see and eric finds a cell with a girl and we're not sure if he's gonna let her out and we get yet another pop song as the episode ends but yeah earlier in the episode so let's see yeah uh, borman and alagast fight over the lux and we get a mad mardigan voice cameo now if I understand correctly, um, yeah, you know, he's, um, the actual actor. I can't believe I'm playing, uh, um, nope, not gonna, not gonna be able to remember it, so I'm just gonna look up real quick. So Val Kilmer. I'm not sure he's, you know, he's not doing too well these days, so... I think maybe did they maybe like when they when they wanted a young Mark Hamill Luke Skywalker what they did was grab like voice recordings from back then um did they maybe grab I mean he didn't say the name Kit in the entire original Willow movie because there was no Kit as far as I recall um yeah but, I mean, it is, yeah, maybe they chose a name because, you know, the, the the noises, the 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 way we say the word kit, you know, like if they have a recording where he says hit or it, you know, you're almost all the way there. So, yeah. Um, and I, I like that, you know, Kit does get Mad Mardigan's sword, and she's using it after that scene. And, you know, the trolls are there, and it's like, who is Alora Dan? And, and they have an I'm Spartacus moment, which was great. And Alagast fights to help, es to help the escape. And, like, Ceres, his dying words are, and I was just starting to like you... That almost has to be a Blade 2 reference, or failing that, a reference to whatever Blade 2 was already referencing. That's not... I I wouldn't necessarily have guessed that they would go there. That's not exactly a movie you could show to children. It's, you know, most of this show and the movie so far... Uh, mo yeah, the movie and most of the show so far, you could basically show to children. Just, you know, 
make sure to talk to them afterwards so they don't get nightmares about stuff, but yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I, um, yeah, and I think the song was, uh, Good Vibrations, so, yeah, yeah, because he's going off, you know, does he feel like he's getting good vibrations from the girl in the cell, D Eric, um, is he gonna let her out? I guess that's it for this one, um, yeah. I continue to really, really enjoy these. So let's see, I guess that was episode six. So there's like two episodes left and possibly we're, it's, it's possible we're only going to get this one season. So yeah. Um, yeah, I, I really, really digging the show so far. Um, I, yeah. I intend to record at least one more video this week. I'm hoping to make it two, but we'll see. So, yeah, catch you at some other point.